Hello everyone, welcome back to the Berry Patch. Um, this is called Kooky Combination Art. Um, now I really like this art. I've seen it done a different, different, couple different kind of ways, but this is the way that I felt we should do it for this project. So you guys may or may not have a handout that walks you through the steps. So we're going to go through the steps together and I'm going to show you how we're going to create this. Okay? So the first step is to cut out two circles the same size. Okay? And I drew two circles on here. Um, if you want a circle to be about this size, that works. You can go a little bit bigger, but I don't want you to go a little bit sm smaller. So when I cut them out, I have two circles that are the same size. Okay? I want them to be the same size. Now you can use different things in your household that can help with circles, like if you want to put a cup up here and just trace around it, and then you can trace around the other cup again and cut them out so they are the exact same size, okay? All right, step one is done and complete, all right? Step two, draw one image on each side of the circle um, and so that when they overlap, they combine and create one image. And what I mean by that is, when they're overlapped, they create one image. So if I'm twisting this, I'm hoping to get that effect, but having a hard time twisting. <laughs> I have a video of my twist and it's way better in that video. So hopefully you guys get a chance to look at that. The main thing is you want it to twist so that Whatever image you have, it looks like they're the same. Actually, on the same image. Alright, and how I did that was originally I started off with a sheet of paper and I divided it into three sections. So I had two small ones and one big one. So what I did was I had an image where I had the dog's head. And the frog on the other on the other side, and underneath I drew them together. So that's what I wanted them to look like. Now your images can be whatever you want. You don't want them to be too simple, where it's just like a square or a heart or a triangle. But you don't want it to be too hard because you need to make sure that you're going to sketch it on here first, and then you're going to actually put it on your circles that you cut out. Okay. So once you got that done. You can start moving on to the circles, okay? So this is an example that what I'm did up here. So on the front I have the dog, the back I have my frog. Same thing that's up here. And when it's twisted, they're together. Same thing that's over here. Okay, so all you have to do is draw them onto your circles. In which I drew my dog on one side, colored it in. And I drew my frog on another side and colored it in. And I'll tell you how to do this so you can make sure that when they twist, they're twisting in the right area, so if you want to see the frog on top of the dog, it's in the right spot. So, this is how we're going to do it. So, on one side, I drew my dog. So, here's my circle. So, let's see, I started off with the nose. I did my big poofy cheeks. My mouth my head, my ears, my ear could be a little bit better, my eyes. I wanted my dog looking up, but your dog doesn't have to look up, okay? And my dog's all done. Now, when I'm doing my frog, I want to put my paper right on top of this paper. So it may be kind of hard for you guys to see but you can actually see the dog coming through. I wish I had a light table to show you guys. But you can see it when you just line it up. So you can see your dog. So wherever you want your next image to go, just decide, okay, is it on the top? Is it on the side? Okay, well, I want it on the top. So I'm actually going to draw the line on the top of the dog's head. So I know my frog has to fit in this area. So now you can move your first image or you can keep it there it's up to you whatever you're comfortable with you can draw that next image so once I drew that image I want to make sure that it stays in the same area
where I want to make sure it stays inside of. No bigger, no less. Put them on top of each other again just to make sure they're in the right area. Perfect. So all you have to do is color. Now when it comes to gluing them onto the stick. Now you can find a stick outside or if you have a wooden stick from something else or if I gave you a wooden stick, use that. Um, I didn't have any wooden sticks here, but I did go outside and get a stick. Um, now here's the thing, you want to find a stick that's flexible enough so that if you need to bend it a little bit, you can. Um, or if you find a, a stick that's really straight, almost straight like a pencil. Because the straighter that it is, the better it will work. Now, the issues with the other one is that it started to curve a little bit. That's why I was having a hard time when I twist it to keep it nice and straight. Because as long as it's in the same area, when it twists, it gets a better effect. Okay? So you want to get a stick that's very straight. Okay? So when I start to glue mine in, what I'm going to do, put glue on one side of my image. Make sure your glue works. There we go. Glue on one side. I want to get all the corners. I also want to get a little bit down the middle, okay? So, when you open this up, you want to make sure that your stick lines up with the middle, right down the middle of that image, okay? Alright, put glue on the back of the other one, but here you only want it down the middle because you should have actually want a little T, right? So my dog's right here, but my glue is making the shape of the T at the bottom. Because all I need to do is get some glue around this area because there's already glue around the edges. Now here's the tricky part. When you're gluing these together, you're kind of eyeballing where they connect. So what you want to see is you want to start squeezing it together. And you want to start looking where that image is. And as long as you can see that image, which I might be able to, one second. Alright, once you see that image and you see that your image is lined up where it needs to be, all you have to do is press it together. Now, I have an issue where I have a little bit extra on the sides, on both sides, so my circles are not exact, but that's okay because all you need to do is grab some scissors and cut off the extra. So if you have that little bit of extra glue marks over there that you don't want, all you got to do is chop it right off. So that everything is nice and round. Now if you cut off a little extra, that's okay. Because your circle doesn't necessarily need to be round. It just needs for your images to line up the right way. So you can throw away the extra. Okay? So all you have to do is let it dry a little bit. And then once you start twisting it, you just start to get that effect. Now it doesn't look great on here because I didn't color it in. But hopefully on here it'll start to you can start to see it a little bit more. Now usually the faster you go, the better you're able to see it. And make sure your stick is nice and straight. So as you're looking at it, you're starting to see those images come together. Keep it in the same area as much as possible. And you'll start to see those images coming together. Awesome. So once it's all done, it may not be perfect, but if it's close enough, that's all right with me. Make sure your images are big enough so that when you twist it, it's filling a lot of the paper. Your images individually don't have to, but together you want to make sure it's filling a lot of the paper. I'm all about composition, using the space that you have, okay? So that's it for this project. See you next time.